The learning objectives for TR-09 are know the conditions for using the Pythagorean theorem, understand what the Pythagorean theorem states, apply the theorem to finding the length of a triangle's sides, apply the theorem to determine if a triangle is a right triangle. What basic condition applies to using the Pythagorean theorem? This is the shortest slide in the whole series. The triangle must be a right triangle. Don't try to apply the theorem to other types of triangles. It doesn't work. In the movie The Wizard of Oz, after the scarecrow gets his brain, he spews out what is apparently supposed to be the Pythagorean theorem, but not quite. Sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Wow, so wrong. Each of these lines of text contains an error. Please pause and correct the underlined phrases. The sum of the squares of the shortest sides of a right triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the length of the hypotenuse. Find the length of z. Well, this is a right triangle, so it's okay to use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals z squared. Square the lengths, add them, and take the square root. z equals 2.35 meters. Find the length of h. The sum of the squared short lengths equals h squared. Square the lengths, add them, and take the square root. h equals 16.5 meters. Find the length of w, which is a short side, not the hypotenuse. We can rearrange the Pythagorean theorem to isolate the non-hypotenuse side. w squared equals the hypotenuse squared minus the other side squared. Square the terms, subtract, and take the square root. w equals 23.9 feet. Which triangles are right triangles? Two are drawn, and two are described only by the length of their sides. And the drawn triangles are definitely not to scale. They certainly don't look like right triangles. I'll reveal the answers all at once, so pause if you like. Remember, the Pythagorean theorem is true only for right triangles. A, C, and D are right triangles. We try to apply the Pythagorean theorem to each triangle. If the equation is true, the triangle is a right triangle. Otherwise, it isn't. Of course, the candidate for the hypotenuse is the longest side. So for A, we try 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, which is 25. Since the equation is true, the triangle must be a right triangle. For B, 7 squared plus 10 squared is not 13 squared, so this is not a right triangle. For C, 12 squared plus 44.2 squared equals 45.8 squared, which are both rounded to 2,098, so triangle C is a right triangle. And for D, 20 squared plus 21 squared equals 29 squared, which is 841. Since the Pythagorean theorem is true, triangle D is a right triangle.